Mr. Lewis, my grandfather believes the men who create a company should control its destiny. Where's the salad? Uh, the salad comes at the end of the meal. But that's the fork I knew. Let me uh, put it another way. Between your public statements and the rumors flying around on this thing, we find it very hard to figure out what your real intentions are. I don't know about you, but I've never been able to figure which goes with what. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there was a time when we built ships the size of cities. Men like my grandfather made this country. Who ordered this? The gentleman did, ma'am. Bon appetit. These are escargot. It's French for snails. It's a delicacy. Try it. David? Mr. Lewis, if you were to get control, and I don't think you will, but if you did, what do you plan to do with the company? Break it up and sell off the pieces. I'm sure you understand I'm not thrilled at the idea of your turning 40 years of my work into your garage sale. At the price I'm paying for this stock, Mr. Morse, you are going to be a very rich man. I'm rich enough. I just want to head my shipyard. Slippery little suckers. It happens all the time. I met your father. What's his name? Carter. Yeah. Carter. Carter Lewis. He's not quite the bastard everybody says he is. No, I have the franchise on that. Does that make him proud? I doubt it. It doesn't really matter now. He passed away. I hadn't heard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Mr. Morse, you asked for this meeting. What can I do for you? Leave my company alone. I can't do that. I own 10 million shares. I'll buy your stock back. You don't have the money. We will. We're uh, getting a contract to build 10 destroyers. There will be no contract. The contract is now buried in appropriations committee, and it will remain there. And how the hell do you pull something like that? What do you got? You got 30 politicians in your pockets now easy, or something? Easy, easy, Calm down. Calm down, David. Mr. Lewis plays hardball. Yes, yes, I do. I've heard enough of this. Vivian, it was a great pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry, Grandfather. I've got to get some air. Mr. Lewis? I'd better join my grandson. You two enjoy your dinner. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Good luck, miss. Watch out, Lewis. I'm gonna tear you apart. I look forward to it, sir. 